is there enough attention for governance issues and human rights at the continental level? Well, for me, I, I think I'd like to see things from the cup being full, half full, mm -hmm. rather than half empty. Uh, Africa is a continent that is coming of age. Mm -hmm. We are putting in place a normative structure for human rights protection. And it took Europe and the developed world a long time to be able to get to where you are. Mm -hmm. And so I see the current arrangement where we have an African court on human rights as a major step. I am not excited about the fact that the court has not been sitting effectively, mm -hmm. but the fact that there is a structure that is available and with time will become very proactive is a major milestone. Mm -hmm. On the part of uh, democracy and governance in terms of the the, 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 the instruments at the continental level, I think they are beginning to have effect. They're having the effect because they are the basis for which elections are currently being organized all over Africa. Mm -hmm. They are the basis for which uh, term limitations of presidents is being discussed. They are the basis for conflicts uh, and, and coup d'etats and others not being allowed and the basis for a, an intended African command yeah. to stop you know uh, people who get up and take the guns and shoot democratically elected governments and remove them mm -hmm. that is the instrument around which all these things are happening mm -hmm. and I think it's a major step yeah. we only need to continue to work on on it and, and with time we'll perfect it yeah. Maybe one last question. Um, I specifically work on the peace and security structure in Africa. Oh, good. And I'm also interested in the governance architecture. Yeah. And they're both very complicated sometimes structures that people don't really get a grasp on. What, yeah. what we're interested in is how to get from the conflict focus, yeah. the firefighting approach, to a longer term approach to look at governance issues. What is, in your opinion, the key thing to make sure that we make this link enough and that we, that we ensure that we move from this yeah. responses to crisis well, to more preventive action? When, you are, when your house is on fire, you must put out the fire first. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of conflict in Africa. Until that is done away with and then the situation normalizes, you would have the situation where you do the firefighting at the same time working on the enduring structures that would ensure peace and security. Mm -hmm. So I think the linkage would come with time. Don't forget we are living in volatile times. Mm -hmm. The issue of terrorism and uh, you know, suicide bombing and all those things have added fuel to a country that is already poverty ridden. And so we may see the problem of governance, peace and security, you know, the dichotomy, not straight for a while, yeah. but I think there will be a convergence somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So you're hopeful? I'm hopeful.